Hello! I'm back! <laughs> Continuing along with this exploration of the things that I love. I've only done one video so far, and you know what? It's made me proud. I'm happy. I'm pleased. <laughs> oh, also, you'll notice probably that I'm doing something different. I don't have the bangs. Well, I have bangs, but growing up my hair, so... Uh, yeah, <laughs> this is how I look right now. <laughs> so if you know me and have known me throughout my life, you would know that I have been a very avid Harry Potter fan. Up until, you know, even a few years ago, I was so obsessed that, you know, when The Cursed Child came out in the UK, I basically decided that I would throw my name in the lottery, and if I won a ticket to see the shows, that I would literally plan a trip around going, and that was the two and a half week trip that I made many, many videos about. You know, Harry Potter was always the thing that people knew was my jam. <laughs> I always had something related to Harry Potter on my person at all times, whether it was a phone case or something else. You know, I am basically a walking Harry Potter encyclopedia, or have been for many people. Um, and yeah, it was quite a bit of an obsession for a while. I think it was one of these things that really kept me sane. I knew that I could always go back to reading the novels or watching the movies whenever I was feeling low, and it was kind of another version of a lifeline for me as well. I grew up reading them, and <laughs> it got to the point where my mum actually had to take my books away from me because I was reading nothing but them over and over and over again for quite some time. And yeah, to say obsessed was an understatement. I, I even have replicated books that were created by this guy of some of the novels from the series, um, which I will show you, which are gorgeous and just beautiful. Um, but Harry Potter's a controversy, and for me as well. For so many people, but for me as well. And it's not me jumping on a bandwagon or anything like that, it's just... Oh, I mean, first and foremost, I'm just not as into it as I used to be. I think I've now reached the point in my life where Harry Potter is more of a childhood obsession than it is an adult one. I'm still obsessed with fantasy, but my interests have moved on to, you know, taking more of an appreciation for the Lord of the Rings and Game of Thrones style fantasies that are very obviously focused toward adults than for kids, really. And, you know, you change, you grow, whatever. It's a small shift, but it is a shift. And the more obvious of reasons. JK Rowling being an absolute tosser. Uh -huh. <laughs> she... Uh, I can't tell you how disappointed I am in the person that she's become. I mean, she created a world that inspired generations of individuals to be more open-minded, to fight for the things that they believe in, and, and just kind of gave us sort of misfit people a place to let their freak flag fly, essentially. And like I said, it brought me comfort and solace for so many years. And then to hear her bashing <sighs> transgender people and just so many opinions that she has, about the worlds that are coming to light that seem to completely contradict what it is that she created is so disappointing. Like, I cannot even begin to express how disappointing I find it. To the point where, you know, I'm never gonna get rid of my original Harry Potter series. That's always gonna be in my bookshelf. It's always gonna be a part of me. I always want to be able to come back and pick up those novels and to be able th to throw on a movie but for me, I've very much separated the love of Harry Potter away from the love of her. And maybe her still being a main part of what makes the books what they are, it, you know, maybe that's also contributed to my interest in it dimming. Don't get me wrong, I still love it. It just doesn't hold as much attachment in my heart the same way. Which is something that I never thought that I would say, to be fully honest. I mean, I grew up, <laughs> one of my childhood friends and I, Megan, we used to run around the neighborhood. We used to think, or at least we pretended, that 
this one very large imposing stark white house at the end of her street was actually the house of Lord Voldemort. <laughs> and we would play and we would make potions together. We would always have our wands around. Even in high school, I remember seeing this thing on the internet. I think it was on My Life is Average, if you remember that site, <laughs> where uh, a girl annoyed her sister by casting, quote unquote, with her wand, Expecto Patronum, and then throwing a stuffed animal at her sister to annoy her. So guess what I did? I did that to random people at school with my friends. I remember pranking, quote unquote, one of my best friends by putting the names of all of the Harry Potter spells on the inside of her locker. Uh, you know, I spent so much time reading fan fiction, <laughs> dreary fan fiction, and you know, ironically, it was when I was an adult. I did not know about fan fiction until I was probably about 24. <laughs> so, you know, uh, like I said, I, I went to England and saw The Cursed Child and spent a whole day that still wasn't enough time at the Harry Potter world where they filmed a bunch of the scenes and, you know, that was that trip, that whole trip was almost kind of an homage to my love for Harry Potter and, you know, it's, it's always, always, always going to be dear to my heart, you know? You know, it, it gave me some place to kind of feel whole and to feel at home. And obviously when you meet someone else who loves something as much as you do, there's a unique bond that forms there. And so I'm, I'm happy for it. Even though a lot of people kind of thought me weird for loving it so much, you know, it's, it's important to cherish the things that have made you who you are. And I really think that this did help make me who I am. It helped me to be unafraid about who I am as a person and the things that I like. Especially when you get so obsessed with them. And, you know, it never made me cool or anything like that. But it made me have fun. And that was what was important. Um... <laughs> my favorite book is Prisoner of Azkaban, number three. Um, I don't know, there was just something about the, the dark and gloomy mystery around that novel that just really, really clicked with me. Um, and I just love magical creatures, so <laughs> when, uh, when they started doing Care of Magical Creatures in that novel, I think that just really is something that I latched onto. Um, you know, of course, I've done the whole Pottermore thing. <laughs> Um, according to that. I mean, I've done it many, many times under many different email addresses, I'm not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> uh, the house that I think I got when I first did the quiz was Hufflepuff, and it switched around, at least on Pottermore, to everything except for Slytherin, even though I was convinced for a while there that I was a Slytherin. But you know what? <laughs> Despite my initial frustration at being <laughs> sorted into Hufflepuff on Pottermore, especially because my friend group in high school, they were very clearly one of each of the houses, and I was convinced that I was a Gryffindor at that time, and my friends were convinced that I was a Hufflepuff, but since then I've embraced it, you know? If there's anything that anyone has to say that's bad about Hufflepuffs, why? Hufflepuffs are the most badass. First and foremost, dorms are by the kitchens, plants, that's just cheery. We have Pomona Sprout, who's pretty dang cool. We're known for being hardworking and loyal, which, why wouldn't you want to be? There's nothing bad about that. And our house mascot is a badger. And if you know anything about badgers, you know you do not fuck with badgers. We look cute and cuddly, but we will tear your throat out. Of course, that's why we get along well with Slytherins. This is my nerd showing. <laughs> what are the other things? What are the other things that you... Oh, Wand and Patronus, which they added a number of years ago. Uh, let me see here. Oh dear, I have to log in. Well, shit. Hold, please. <laughs> I know that I had gotten my Patronus. I believe the first Patronus that I got was a rattlesnake, which I thought was very unusual. But I know that there was another one in there at some point. Oh yeah, and then there's also the, the house that you would be in the American version. Ilvermorny. Uh, I know that I was Pukwudgie under that, which I believe, I'm not as familiar with these ones, obviously, but I believe Pukwudgie 
is led by the heart, which I think also fits. <laughs> I think if I were to have a pet, I would want it to be an owl. I think if I were to be a Quidditch player, I would want to be a seeker. If I were doing the classes, I think I would do very well and enjoy the most of potions and probably transfiguration, to be honest, or charms. That's a toss up. <laughs> ah, apparently my wand would be pine wood with unicorn hair core, 10 inches, and supple flexibility, which at one time I would have known all the details of what those things are. I know that, you know, the length of the wand and the flexibility and all this kind of stuff are supposed to say something about your personality. Um, people always ask what your favorite characters are. Mine are Professor Minerva, Minerva McGonagall and Draco Malfoy. Unconventional choices, but how can you go wrong with a badass Scottish lady and a brooding, skinny-ass, pale kid? <laughs> Um, I don't know, it's just something to dive into, and I think just because the universe is so huge that she created with so much wonder, that's why I became obsessed. I would make things up and it's easy to kind of picture yourself in a world like that, so why wouldn't you want to kind of attach onto it? And why wouldn't a kid, especially a kid like me, want to become a part of it, you know? So, yes, Harry Potter has changed for me, as things eventually all do. But it doesn't mean that it's not still here at the core of me, you know? It's kind of hard to fully release your tether on something that you grew up with, let alone something that informed you so significantly for as many years as this has. And, you know, I just, um, as much as I'm disappointed with the kind of reputation of its creator now, I'm always going to be thankful that it exists and I will do my best to remove who she is as a person from my mind and just let the art speak for itself. And it's easy enough to do. Um, but yeah, that is my uh, overview of Harry Potter. <laughs> I know this is probably something that I can come back and talk about many, many times again. If you guys have questions for me about this, or if you want to test my knowledge, I'd be happy to do even a Q&A video or something like that, because um, that might be fun. Um, but specifically on this topic, it might be fun to get you guys to ask me obscure questions, and I will try my best to answer them, obviously without looking anything up. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> but yeah, this is uh, something that I've had another hobby, I guess, that I've invested a lot of time, energy, and money into. And although I've been kind of culling my collection of things that are related to Harry Potter, I still have memories, you know? I still have the cloak from the Harry Potter themed dance that I did for competitive ballet that my mom choreographed when I was a kid. And, you know, something like that. Even if I get rid of the cloak, which I use as my invisibility cloak, because it's kind of transparent and shiny. Even if I were to get rid of something like that, I know that at the end of the day, I still have the memory of that. Hell, I still have the video of that dance. <laughs> somewhere at home. It'd be a VHS, but it's somewhere at home. Anyway, that is all I'm going to speak about this, because I can tell this is already a very long video. Um, but let me know what your opinions on Harry Potter are, especially given how things have come to light in the last few years. And I'm curious to know what some of your things are. Favorite characters, favorite book, uh, house, wand information if you have it, Patronus, <laughs> any of these fun things. I think that would be just fun to nerd out over this ridiculous wizarding world. I hope you have a lovely evening, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>